Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerd scum here. Since I did my video on Justice League a while back, I've had many, many discussions about it. And one of the common themes in these conversations tends to be this movie's interpretation of The Flash, which has really seemed to have torn or split audiences. Uh, some people really, really dislike it. Some people really love it. And it's understandable because this version of Flash adds a lot of cool things to this movie. He's a lighter character, which the DCEU really, really needed. Uh, there's some really cool sequences involving his character, uh, specifically the scene where they resurrect Superman. Spoilers. Uh, even though that scene makes no frickin' sense in context of everything else, the scene itself is really cool visually. Um, the sword thing, like, that was really dope. Um, the moment where Flash is running around Superman and Superman sees him, like, that's a really cool moment. Um, the race at the end of the movie between Flash and Superman, that is fantastically awesome. Like, I know the comic book fan in me really loved that. And then all the scenes with uh, Flash and his dad are very well written, and they're performed really, really well. I really enjoyed all those scenes. So, despite all of these really cool elements, why is it that this particular interpretation of Flash has not really uh, resonated with Flash fans? Or, to be put more bluntly, why does the Justice League Flash suck? Alright, so first off, the number one problem, and I'm going to mention this first because every other problem that I will mention follows from this. Uh, the number one problem with Flash in Justice League is that he totally got iron-fisted. And by that, what I mean is they took a character who normally is supposed to be a character in of himself, and they made him part of an ensemble. And in making him part of an ensemble, they dropped out a lot of elements of the character that they thought they didn't need because they wanted the elements that highlighted the things they wanted in the ensemble. But because of this, you end up with a character that's not fully developed, it's not fully fleshed out, it's just, it's not fully formed, and it's very kind of jagged and mismatched together. And, as I said, all the other problems that I feel are issues with the character in Justice League follow from this. And I think this is something that even the filmmakers have noticed, because as soon as Justice League was over, it was announced that the Flash movie, which had been started and stopped, and directors came on and came off, and like all this kind of stuff, they finally announced that the Flash movie is going to be Flashpoint. And most people are saying that that's because they want to use that as an excuse to course correct a lot of the problems in the DCEU, and I think that's highly probable. But also, I think it's because after watching Justice League, they realized that they created a character in Flash who cannot sustain his own movie. He's not a fully formed character. And with the hodgepodge of pieces that they have in this movie, it would take a lot of legwork, probably two movies, to develop him into the Flash that we're used to. So therefore, Flashpoint gives you the opportunity to do a Justice League movie, to do another ensemble movie, without having to focus on this character, but still getting to develop him closer to the way that you want him to be. Now, as I said, all the other issues spring from this, but let's go ahead and move on into those. Alright, so number two. Pick a Flash and stick with it. So, in this movie, they have Barry Allen, except the character that they present to us is not Barry Allen in any way, shape, or form. The only thing making him Barry Allen is the name and the fact that his father is in Iron Heights for the death of his mother, which is actually something that has been la added to the Flash mythos fairly late in the game, even though now it is considered to be a quintessential part of that mythos. But when you look at the character that they've created, he's not Barry Allen in any way, way shape, or form. Like, they wanted a funny character, they wanted a quippy character. That's not Barry Allen. Barry Allen is just a good guy who wants to do the best. He's an uplifting, hopeful character who has a good sense of humor, but if you're looking for quips and jokes, you're talking about Wally West or even Bart Allen, which I feel this character was much closer to Bart Allen with his little awkwardness and all the little quirkiness than he ever was to Barry Allen. Like, I get it. They're not the only ones who've done this. You want to do Flash, Barry Allen's the most recognizable name, but the Wally West is the most recognizable incarnation of the character to non-comic book fans because of his use in the Justice League uh, television show. And, like, that's what they wanted. They wanted him to be the comedic relief. But I'm sorry, Barry Allen is not Shia LaBeouf mixed with Spider-Man Homecoming mixed with Jerry Seinfeld. That's not who his character is. And despite the fact that the Flash character has a couple of funny moments in the movie, most of the time they are immediately stepped on by something super awkward and cringy. Most of the time when I was laughing at this character, I was laughing at him because he was pathetic, not because he was funny. And character of Flash is one that is supposed to inspire hope and joy 
not one where you're supposed to laugh at him instead of laugh with him. Number three, his powers are really inconsistent and pretty much completely meaningless. Now, I understand that this is a flash at the beginning of his game. He doesn't have a lot of experience. That's actually really cool. I like that element of the character. But uh, his power set really, like, like there's we're never given an idea of what he can actually do so therefore when he does things there's no emotional attachment to how hard he's had to try to do that and beyond that when you put him on a team with soups and wendy at the beginning of the movie we see wonder woman move faster than the human eye can see and then later on we have at least one moment where superman goes just as equally fast as barry again it's Barry at a point where he doesn't have his powers fully developed, but it doesn't matter. What's the point of having a speedster on your team if you imply multiple times that other members of the team can do everything he can do just as good? Now, mind you, visually, we do have a couple of instances where he does things that the other characters aren't seen doing, but again, because we're never given any actual idea of what his power level is, we don't know. Superman could very well do run as fast and do the things that Barry does in this movie. We don't know. We're not given enough information. And finally, we have the costume. I hate the costume. Okay, let me clarify. I don't hate the costume. The, ho the costume looks aesthetically cool. The problem is, it makes no sense for the character, or definitely not for this incarnation of the character. At this point, Barry does not have his job at the like uh, as a CSI. Like as we understand it, he's doing a bunch of little odd jobs. He has no money. He's like scrapping things together. But he's got this suit that is made out of the same material that NASA uses on spaceships to keep it from overheating. What? Where the f did he steal it? That's the only logical explanation. Is that he stole it? And I just, I don't want to deal with that. No, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. So then beyond that, we have the fact that it doesn't feel right. In the Injustice games, Flash has an armored suit. I don't like that either. I think it's dumb. Uh, it does make sense from a certain point of view for this version of the character who's new and unsure of himself to have armor, but it also would slow the character down. It makes it harder for him to move. All these kind of things, which... Really, if they'd worked them into the story, could have actually went to making this character a more developed and more well-rounded character. But as it sits in the movie now, like, the suit is just... It's, it's awkward, and it's, like, it doesn't feel right. There's nothing about that outfit that feels correct. Even when you're trying to make the character a lighter, more, like, uplifting, fun character, having someone who's that heavily armored and having the red be as deep as it is... Of course, they lightened it up in post after Joss Whedon got a hold of it, but still, just like, the aesthetic look of that character is out of context for everything that they've added to the personality of the character, and it's in, like, complete contrast to all the things we traditionally associate with Flash. Right on, guys, so now my so-called critique of the character Flash in Justice League is over, and I wanted to just add this last little part where, as I said before, there were a lot of little elements that they sprinkled out throughout this movie, that I feel that if they had brought them together in the right way and done a few things, it could have made people like me change their tune about their version of the Flash pretty significantly. So as I said, I'm not a big fan of the armor, but it makes sense of a from like a character point of view. The whole idea of like we don't really know how fast he is or what his speed capabilities are or if he's even faster than the other members of the league, um, that's a problem for me. But it feels like if they had done this one little thing at the end of the movie, it could have really handled that, solved that all together. So let's say that during the end, during the final fight, there's a moment where Flash basically goes to do something he's never done before. And what we see is we see him ramp up for his supersonic punch. And as he's running, and again, he mentions beforehand that like he's never gone this fast or something like that. You set it up to point out that it's a big deal, maybe even way earlier in the film. So anyway, as he does the run, we see him get faster and faster and as he's running we start seeing the plates on his armor like start shaking and like the start separating some and then we start seeing the visual of him blur even more and then finally right before he gets to the point where he does the punch on Steppenwolf we see him break the sound barrier and with that sonic boom when he breaks the sound barrier like the plate armor just <laughs> rips off and like flies into the wind like shrapnel and his undersuit for that suit of armor is something much more traditionally flash like he can still have the emblem and he can still have like the line work from where the armor was but you have like the undersuit of it it's something far more traditionally flash and that's whenever he gets the revelation that without all of that he can actually move faster and 
he gets the idea that like he's not going to get hurt by these hits and in other words it gives him a moment that i felt was missing for the character that gives him something that more resembles an arc and gets him into a place that makes him visually more representative of the flash that we all know and love right on guys so those were my thoughts on flash from justice league and why i wasn't a big fan of him I used the word suck earlier, but that's probably not the right word. I know a lot of people really like this interpretation of the character, and if you do, more power to you. Do each his own. Not everything's made for me. Uh, but, you know, those are the reasons why I wasn't really feeling it. But I'd really love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure and give it a like. Share it with some friends. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to check out all the content I'll have coming out over the next few months. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great night. Nerd Scum, out.